Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching CJ of video and today we will make this kind of very simple orb in Unreal Engine 5.5 and if you do like this tutorial, do me a favor, hit uh, subscribe, like and share and also go to my YouTube channel, click on here, throne.com CJ how you will find this thing and you can support me here by like fund me for my mic or chair or monitor or camera or even to support me here to quit my job so I can do full time tutorials. So just go there. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I'm working in 5.5 version and you can see the folder name is all five. That means I have already four ops on my YouTube channel. So you can just find all on my channel. You will find lots of other tutorials if you like. So basically first I'll make a material and and let's scroll it. And green, and I'll just use additive unlit to side it, and I'll just take a radial. And if I preview that radial, this is what I have, and then I'll invert this, so I will have this, and then I'll copy this, and I have this radial. I'll make this sharp, maybe fifty. And then we have this. So if I multiply these together, what I'll get, I'll get this sharp edge and faded from here. And you can also add a power to control it more. Like I wanted this much. And also you can do one thing if you want really cool gradient. You can play with the radius of this so before this 0.5 you can increase it like 0.6 and see now you can decrease the power maybe 5 so there will be a combination between these two so i'll make this 0.55 not that much yeah this looks fine to me and i'll just take the particle color and like this here and multiply this with the alpha Connect this here and hit apply. And now here, uh, let's take this and make a new Niagara. And I'll call this NS Orb. Inside this, I'll just add a new emitter fountain. And this will be our rings. And what I'll do. I'll just delete these forces. So I have just the particles spawning on a one place. And let me also make this gray background like this. It looks cool. Let's make this maybe five. And let's add a size of a life. The curve. This one. So it will be like this. yeah looks cool although i also need it this one like this so i'll just uh, make a color maybe i'll use yellowish and very subtle any point one five because we are seeing it on a black background so it can be different in the level so you can adjust it actually this is not now ring but i'll duplicate this paste and now i'll call this one glow so we have a glow and then we have a ring so this one is glow then we have duplicate version that we will make ring by changing the material so i'll use this one here yeah. looks cool but in this one what i'll do in the size, I'll make maybe uh, 15 and 14, not much difference. And also this initial size should not be zero, maybe 0.5. So it is just the outer ring and it will be like this. And also there will be a fade in, fade out. And maybe spawn rate, maybe two. Life is random because that's why so I'll just make it one and then we can increase it by four. Yeah. 
and then we'll see both this is how it looks and looks really cool and i'll also make this local both then i want like uh, something around it like some trails you can make it with the particles and also you can do something here so if i duplicate this material m ring and i'll call it m trail one basic thing i will change here uh, let me make this also gray but it's not showing so i'll just turn off the why it's not it's weird yeah so this is as it is i'll take the vector to radial and if you just uh, to preview these two it has this and it has the radial so i will use this one and i'll just multiply it at the very end of it so it will be like this so this ring will be cut out and we can also use a power here to make the the ring maybe half like this or maybe i'll just with three cool and also i want this to be or we can use like it we can do one more thing so this power we can adjust it depending on this so if i just directly connect this here see how this will change see but the power value was 5 so I will multiply that with the 5 and if I increase like see it's decreasing the uh, width so basically what I'll do now I'll take a lerp and I'll make this like 10 and this one 5 and see now I have a control whether I want to decrease the width from here or here. So if I'm making it 20, see what happens is decreasing it from here, not here. So if I want to decrease it from here, uh, I'll make it 10 back and I'll make this one 20. And now it will decrease it from here. But also it's decreasing from both sides. So let it be for now. But this is what we can do with it. So always experiment with things uh, you never know what you will get so i'll just browse this and in the fx i'll duplicate this let's call these rings uh not rings uh trails and first thing uh these rings i'll make them little greenish so it will be separate from the core and then these trails should be more green maybe like this and now i will change the material so it will be like like this although this looks fine but what i'll do here instead of this uh, facing i'll use custom alignment custom facing vector and then i'll use a line to mesh orientation and I'll just randomize the axis so it will face each axis randomly per particle from minus one to one for both alignment and facing. And this is what we have. And I will not scale it, it has already size, but we can use a rate of rotation. So it's rotating like a trail. Cool. we can make this even faster if you want not that much maybe 300 and also maybe a little brighter and if i turn on all this is what you you will get looks cool You can add more elements in it if you want or you can add like you can add lots of other things in it so basically 
let me just think what I have what I can add so one more thing you can do you can just duplicate your trails and make them smaller maybe eight and seven and make them brighter maybe one just for now and make them faster maybe one thousand and this is just for the core so core is really fast and then we have some fading out there just increase it like 100 so it will not like repeat again and again okay and then you can add little more particles in it if you want so i'll just add a new emitter i'll take the fountain let me save all and in this one let's make this particle size maybe two and one and i'll use the point velocity outward and maybe zero and ten and sphere size maybe point one i don't want gravity we have this and the size may be 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 and we can animate the track so it will be higher at the end the particle will stop there around here and of course you can make them brighter and randomize little color and saturation we can drag even more so it's stopping there and we can use vortex force and i'll use the random axis and force maybe just 50 or maybe 10 and spawn rate maybe just 20 and particle size maybe even more random yeah so this is very basic very basic uh, sorry orb we can do a lot of thing in it but i'll not do it because this is the basic effect tutorial so i have already four or five orbs you can check i have simple i have advanced i have really cool orbs in my channel so you can check that okay so that's it.